Hey everyone, and welcome back to Beam NG Drive. In this video, I will be continuing the missions on Small Island USA. I believe that's what it's called. In the previous video, I did some deliveries and a few rally stages. I believe there's one more rally stage? Another normal rally stage, I'll call it. So I decided to use my more stock FCV for it, because why not? It's actually a lot of fun to drive. Lower cars in rally racing are, in my opinion, a lot more fun to drive than a fast one. You can push them a lot harder, throw them around a lot more, and not have to worry as much. So yeah, we are going on to Mixed Stage 3, and then after that will be Island Loop, uh, Island Loop Alternate, and then it looks like Around the Beach, and then two more Gambler things and a Mountain Climb. So let's get into it. Hopefully I can finish this uh, this week. Your vehicle, one lap, okay. Okay, mixed stage three, and then the typical time trial stuff. Let's just get into it. If I could just the right buttons. I might also need to turn up my volume. I also hit the wrong button for recording, so I am going to restart and check my volume really quick. Yeah, I need to turn up the volume. Glad I caught that. Here we go. Let's try this again. I probably didn't. There we go. Much better. And I typically use my 1.6 liter. Oops. Way more powerful and capable version of this car. But. I felt like building a couple more stock. I have this one, and then I have a bunch of stock event as well. And this is the inline four all wheel drive, and then that's pretty much it. I don't think I really changed anything. Else. And then ripped out the interior location. Basically, did the minimum to turn stock car into a race car. As you can tell, it's pretty good. I should have practiced these routes before recording. Especially without pace notes, but it should be fine. Uh, I'm used to the short gearing of the other one. I believe this has the sport gearbox in it. Oh, it's different gearing than the other one, cars. And the camera keeps turning. Usually pretty good, but right now it seems to be kind of not doing what I want it to be. Another reason I chose this car instead of my typical one is the roads on this are fairly tight and the corners are pretty close together, so I don't need to worry about going super fast. And there aren't really many jumps, so I don't need crazy suspension. This has the Mograx suspension on it, I think, with the rally wheelovers and shocks. doesn't even have the full-blown rally suspension on it. But it's doing pretty well. Here goes my phone ringing. Hopefully that's not too hard. I can't pause to stop it. Who oh, no. Ah. Just kind of trying to ignore that. I can't stop it at the moment. <laughs> If I wasn't recording the replay, I would be able to pause and stop it, but... Here we go. I've been 
being called every day by our marketers and whatnot. It's getting really important. Really, I blame the phone call. I guess I didn't need to end the recording. And up we go. <clears throat> I'll try and just quickly finish this stage. Something's not right with the car now. Feels like the alignment got messed up on the back when I rolled it, but it's not too bad. I can at least finish. The finish line is right here, so there was no point in restarting the whole thing. There we go. It'll be a bit of a pain in editing, but whatever. Alright, continue here. On to the next one. Which should be interesting. Do I use my own card? Island loop. Do I have to use a given car or can I use my own? Player vehicle. Ooh, what do I want to use for this? Last time I did this, I used a hopper, of all things. But I feel like a rally car will still be the best. So, why don't I use something that I don't use very often? I rarely drive this car, but I really like it. I don't know why I drive it so much. Okay, island loop, typical time trial stuff, so I'm gonna get into it. If I remember to put it in here. This outer road I have practiced a fair bit. This shouldn't go too bad. Unless I understeer like that a lot. I am not used to driving this car. And a really weird thing about the Sunburst is it handles better with a stiffer rear sway bar than front. When cars are typically the opposite way. I should have used my 200BX with the rally suspension on it. It's another car that I don't drive much is my Rally 200BX. Better the brakes so the wheels don't completely lock up. I need to adjust the brakes on this a little bit before I update my configuration pack. Oh, I did not want to do that. I knew if I went too fast over the bridges, it was not going to make well. But I can still finish. I can still drive, I'm going to still finish. Especially when I'm right at the end of the course. There we go. Car is definitely not happy, but it made it. <laughs> Okay, the next one I believe is a gambler. No, getting a little ahead of myself. Island loop alter alternate. Probably going the other way. Player vehicle, one lap. Yeah, probably the same thing. I wonder why it shows a D-series. Typical time trial stuff. I'm probably gonna have to do the jump that's at the rock section. Also, turn the traction control off this time. I did not mean to do that. Oh, too fast. 
Like I said, I don't know these roads great. Mm -hmm. I don't really play on this map. I'm only doing it as of trying to get through all the missions. I could have picked a better car for this, but oh well. Yeah, it seems like, ooh, yeah. It's definitely a similar route, but <laughs> we've got some jumps to deal with. So, I'm going to switch to a very specific vehicle. <laughs> that is not a happy car. Actually, I'm going to use this for the thumbnail really quick. Because, why not? Never want to get to see how I do my uh, thumbnails for videos. Quickly, want the lighting behind the camera. Do roll the camera a tiny bit. Camera rolling, this is so annoying. If I close photo mode and then go back in, it will rotate the camera to where it is now, but say that it's at zero degrees, which is extremely annoying. Uh, push the depth field back a little bit more. A bit more blurry, and that's good enough. There we go. That is how I get my picture. So, I feel like I'm going to use. I want to use this. But now that I think about it, I feel like a different vehicle might be better. I feel like this one's going to be better for right now, to be honest, so I'm going to try this instead. This one isn't in my configuration pack, this is something that I made to drive around on uh, West Coast. Alright, hopefully this goes better. It should handle the jumps a lot better. Speaking of which, I'm going to use this camera instead. And I also know a bit more of what to expect, so I shouldn't crash right away. Hopefully, uh, hopefully this goes well. Yeah, like I said, this is tuned for the streets of West Coast USA, not really this. It's tuned for jumps, but not really dirt. So I'm hoping this goes well. I think well so far. A rally car wouldn't do amazing like this. Or it, it might if it's tuned right. My uh, 1.6 wide body would probably do pretty well, but I'm definitely glad I grabbed this instead with the extra wheel travel. Probably normal from here on in. Or mostly normal, I'm hoping. I almost went down to the beach back there. I probably could have went a little bit faster, a bit of a shortcut in a way, but. Didn't make me go to the beach, so I didn't. I'm also driving this as if it's a manual, not an automatic. This should be a, uh, a semi-auto three-speed, not manual three-speed or whatever they call it. Because you may have to tell it when to shift, but you're not physically moving the gears yourself and you're not using the clutch, so it's still an automatic. There we go. 
still could have went a little bit better, but whatever. Yeah, I like this truck. It's so much fun to do jumps with. As I up the roof. Anyways, on to the next one. Who knows, maybe I'll use a picture of that for the thumbnail instead. Okay, small island sprint. This might be best for my hopper. Ooh, I have to use the Dan Kicker. The Dune the Dan Kicker. The Dune Kicker. Okay. Alrighty. Small island sprint. Take to the sand. Watch out for the cave section, though. Don't get stuck. Time trials. Uh, typical stuff. Yeah, I don't know how this is going to do in the... I also don't really like this vanilla configuration of this truck. Mine is much better. At least I'm not one of those people that thinks driving something with no body on it for a, a world record counts. That annoys me so much. I was watching someone go for the world records and they literally had like a hopper or something and it was just the chassis. Like that does not count. If I was running a leaderboard, you would get like disqualified for doing that. That is not a car. Completely negates the purpose of this game. I said that before. Alright, here this part should be interesting. I have driven through here lots, so I know a good route to take. Like a good line, I should say, but this is only two wheel drive. So it's going to struggle a lot. It sounds really good in here, that's for sure. I want to put this engine in the D series, I mean, the hopper. Just sounds so good. I've got the ETKI 6 cylinder to go into uh, the hopper but it took forever, and it doesn't work quite right. It's half held in by the exhaust, and it flops around a lot. But once I figure out how to get that to fit better, I'll work on another engine and possibly do this one. I'd also like to put the, the Boxer engine from the Avabello Piccolino bottom bug. In the hopper because I feel like the sound suits it quite well. It just sounds really cool in the hopper. And with its low center of gravity, it would probably be quite good for crawling. Should not be in third gear. I went way too fast off of that because of being in third gear. not know how fast I should be going over these jumps. A bit of practice, I could do that section a lot better, but I guess I don't know the jumps very well, so I don't know how fast to go. I would like to go through these races again, as they are quite fun. Oops, those are mods. Um, 
Okay, that was Small Island Sprint. Next is Rough Road Test Gambler 500. This should be interesting. Looks like we're using the weird... Oh, own vehicle. Okay, if I'm using my own vehicle, I'm going to switch to my hopper because why not? This one's going to be a bit faster. It said own vehicle, and now it's giving me this thing. Okay. Rough road test, Gambler 500. Although not long, this route will fight back if you aren't prepared for some tight gaps and large bumps. Time trials, blah blah blah, okay. I will probably keep it in orbit camp, because I don't know track, and I want to be able to see everything. I wish I had a wheel so bad, it's so much more fun, so much more entertaining to watch. This car handles so bad. I made my own configuration like this, and it handles so much better. I could have done it a lot faster, which makes sense, but I'm not worried about time right now. I will go through probably off camera and record the replays of redoing time trials and stuff, and just like show my best times of them. Mining equipment, uh, Hoopty X Small Island Gambler 500, Davro Grand Marshal, should be interesting. Okay, loop the X, small island, gambler 500. Two laps of the inner loop here on the island is order of the day. Maintaining speed as much as possible will be imperative to a good result. Typical time trial step. All right. I also would rev my engine to get a better launch off the line, but as I've mentioned before, I use the handbrake light turning off to line up the replay with this camera, like my main view, and if I were to do a proper launch, it would disable the handbrake sooner and make it a little harder to line everything up. The Grand Marshal is another car that I should drive a bit more than I do. I have a really good street version of it. I have an undercover police version, a rally version. It's a lot of fun. Hopefully. And without destroying it. could definitely be tuned better, but I don't think that's the point of it. 
Oh, too much throttle. This is a fun layout, though. Fun route. And this configuration actually fits it pretty well, surprisingly. Not too fast, it's not too slow. Oh, it's two laps too, I forgot about that. Hopefully this lap goes a little bit better. I hit the wall on the first lap because I was a little distracted. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. And I do not like this car being an automatic. I just simply don't like automatic in general, but it allows you to focus more on steering. I guess. I don't remember going into neutral, but okay. I did do that a couple times on the first lap, shifting into neutral by accident because I'm used to manual. I think that might be where I crashed last time. Or up here. I think it was up here. Yep, there's the toolbox. Ooh, I did not realize I was that close to the wall. Hopefully... Oh yeah, that definitely messed up the alignment. Uh, maybe not. It felt like it was pulling to the right, but it might not be. Oh, I just caved in the front end. Kind of hard to tell on this course. Uh, yeah, it's definitely pulling to the right. Not too bad, though. Uh-oh. Come on, keep going. You... Depending on how many more uh, time trials I have to do, I might end after this video, or after this mission, but... Uh oh Um... Okay, I'm just gonna recover the car really quick, because I want to get this over with. And yeah, the front of the car is quite messed up now. Finish line. There we go. Just smash into the wall at the end for good measure. Yeah. No stars on that one. Definitely could have done a lot better, but I want to finish off this island. Um yes, there is one more, so I'm going to do this and get it done and over with. I was really hoping to use the hopper on that last one. Um, by your vehicle. Is it gonna actually let me use my vehicle? This is a hill climb. So, I'm going to use my peach. Should do well. It's only got the inline six in it, so it isn't the fastest. But it should do well. Typical time trial stuff, so let's just get on with it. I have spent so much time tuning this thing as I immediately go off course. I am glad I chose this. But I do not know this track at all. I do not know where I have to go. 
I'm also used to the modded version of this, which has limited slip differentials and a much more powerful engine. But I'm using this because other than bottoming out a little bit, because it doesn't have bypass shocks on it, I feel like out of all my vehicles, this will handle this the best. I could have used the Baja version, but... Oops. <laughs> um... You know what? I really wanted to drive the Baja version earlier, so I'm going to switch to that. And then I will finish. Okay, let's try this again. This should go better. Well, this is much louder. Uh oh. Really? <clears throat> it's much better going much better. trying to go fast. If I were to take the time to actually learn it, it would be a lot easier. But, whatever. As long as I don't roll down the hill again. This way it would have been way better. This probably was not the greatest vehicle to choose for this either. I should have used one of my D series. Oh, but that goes the tighter because of course. That's probably the worst thing about beam in its soft body physics is it is way too easy to pop your tires on things, especially things that normally wouldn't. And it's way too easy to get stuck in places where you normally would. I do have a limited slip in the back, but it's not really helping, so I'm going to walk in the front. That should keep us going at a decent speed. It's too bad the spare isn't the full size and That's another thing they need to implement is using the spare tires. But finally, that is it for Small Island. Next, I think, is Utah, which will be much, much more fun. Um, so yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the next episode, and I'm glad Small Island is done. As always, if you have any tips or tricks or questions or anything you want me to check out, feel free to leave it in the comments, and there will be a link to my configuration pack in the description if you want to check out the examples I used. And, as usual, I hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Thank you.